Hey, I'm Ty, and you're watching the DJI Spark tutorial video series. In this video, we'll go through how to get your new Spark ready for its first flight by activating the aircraft, linking the aircraft to its remote controller, and adjusting the aircraft Wi-Fi settings. To ensure safety, all Spark batteries are set to hibernation mode before shipping. This means your battery won't turn on until it's been fully charged. Now to do this, insert the battery into the aircraft if it's not already inserted. Then connect the USB cable to the port that's just above the battery to charge it. Now charging is complete and the battery level indicators turn off. Now let's get your Spark activated. Ensure your mobile device has internet access. Start the DJI Go4 app. Tap the product name icon in the top left and select Spark. Then tap the three-lined icon in the upper right corner and choose Scan QR Code. Now use your mobile device to scan the serial number QR code inside Spark's battery compartment or on the storage case. Then an activation menu will appear in your app. Follow the instructions on screen and tap the complete icon or the back arrow to move between activation steps. To connect to Spark's Wi-Fi network, check the sticker inside the battery compartment. Here you'll find your Spark's Wi-Fi name and password, which can also be found on its storage box. The battery slides in easily like this. And the button on the back, as always, press once, again and hold to turn on. Power on Spark and use this info to connect Spark's Wi-Fi network from your mobile device's Wi-Fi settings. First, name your Spark. You can change the name later in DJI Go 4 if you so choose. Then set the stick mode. The controller uses mode 2 by default. Now, on the next page, choose whether or not to use beginner mode. Beginner mode is enabled by default to ensure safety for new pilots. Congratulations, you've just successfully activated Spark. Now, if it's your first time flying Spark, we suggest practicing in the simulator and following the all new beginner guide, which helps you get familiar with the controls and the user interface. Next, we'll show you how to link your aircraft with its controller using DJI Go 4. Now, both the aircraft and controller should be powered on, and you can tell the aircraft and controller need to be linked when the Spark's rear indicators are flashing yellow quickly and the controller indicator is solid red. Now, to get started, connect your mobile device with the controller via Wi-Fi. Then, start DJI Go 4 and tap the Wi-Fi icon in the lower left to enter the Connection Help menu. Tap Remote Controller, and tap Remote Controller Linking at the bottom of the page. After the controller beeps like this, it will be primed to link. Now, press the Spark's power button and hold it for three seconds. Release it as soon as you hear a beep. Spark's front indicators will begin to flash red quickly, which means linking is in progress. When the controller stops beeping and Spark's front indicators turn solid green, it means the controller and Spark are successfully linked. The app will also inform you with a notification. You can also link by pressing the control, pause, and function buttons on the controller at the same time. Release them once the controller starts beeping. Now, again, pull down the Spark's power button for three seconds and release when you hear a beep. Spark will start linking with the controller with its front indicators flashing red quickly. When the controller stops beeping and Spark's front indicators turn green, linking is complete. After Spark and the controller are linked, Spark's Wi-Fi network will be hidden. So if you want to control the Spark with just your mobile device, you're going to need to switch its connecting mode. Hold down Spark's power button for six seconds. And release it after you hear two beeps. When the front LEDs start flashing green quickly, the connecting mode has switched. Spark's Wi-Fi network will now be visible in your mobile device's Wi-Fi settings menu. Next, we'll show you how to change Spark's Wi-Fi name and password. With the app connected to the aircraft's Wi-Fi, from the equipment page, enter the connection help menu. At the bottom of the screen, tap change Wi-Fi settings. Enter a new name and password, then tap Done to finalize the changes. If you would like to reset the Wi-Fi name and password to factory defaults, just press and hold the Spark's power button for nine seconds and release it after hearing three beeps. The aircraft's Wi-Fi name and password will then be reset. Now you're ready for your first flight. 
Join us in our next video, where we'll discuss some basics of flight and show you how to fly with the remote controller. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.